right now resume our coverage of the battle of the PBS stars. Um, this is Beverly Sills, who, and I don't know if she'll remember this, I first met at a fundraiser for the Metropolitan Opera hosted by Betty Comden and Adolph Green. I'll have to ask her about that and why they refused to let me sing that night. Um, there, for those of you who don't know, is her opponent, the well-renowned Joan Sutherland. Uh, like Woody and myself, both ladies share brilliant careers and a beautiful and lasting friendship. Um, should we roll that tape now or, or not? Oh, Bev, come on! I haven't sat this still since the death scene in Rigoloni. <laughs> taking so long because I paid from the realist school of painting like Norman Rockwell I see it as it really is in life all right all done oh, oh my iron quarters fell asleep oh. Oh. doesn't look like me you've given me more chins than a Chinese phone book <laughs> Um, I, I don't know that much about sports, but I, I do know intense concentration when I see it. Um, there she goes. Very good acceleration, I must say. I must say. Well, I'm delightfully surprised. I, I don't think I could clear 10 feet the way Beverly Sills just did. And that has to make um, Coach Bill Buckley a, a very happy man, I would think. Um, Jones looking good, good acceleration and concentration. She's pushing out much too hard. Um, so it's a tough break then for Joan, the event therefore going to Beverly Sills, and I guess it's then back to you, Howard. Buckley! Though I, I must say, I would have approached the jump somewhat differently. Oh. Buckley's team is currently ahead in the point standards, but a victory here in the prestigious touch football competition could tip the scales in favor of Carl Sagan's team.